Let's look at the floor of 1.1. It's important to understand why they call it a floor and why they call it a ceiling. So let's pretend we're in a room and let's have this number be somewhere between the floor and the ceiling. Now, what is the number that is less than 1.1? The nearest whole number. Well, that's going to be 1. And what is the nearest whole number that is greater than 1.1? That's 2. So if we're talking about the floor function, the floor is on the bottom. And we're talking about the ceiling function, the ceiling is at the top. So the floor of 1.1 will be 1, and then the ceiling would be 2. The next one, let's look at, so the ceiling will be like this. This will be 2. Now let's look at the floor of negative 0 0.1. And let's look at the ceiling of negative 0 0.1. So again, we can draw this diagram. We're going to have negative 0 0.1 somewhere in, in between the floor and the ceiling. Now the number that is smaller the nearest whole number that's smaller than negative 0 0.1 is negative 1. The number that is greater than negative 0 0.1, that's going to be 0. So the floor will just be negative 1, and the ceiling is going to be 0. Now let's look at 2.99. The ceiling of 2.99, well, 2.99 is going to be between 2 and 3, so the ceiling will be, will be just running up to 3. That's another way to think about it. When we're doing the floor and the ceiling functions, think about it as running either up or down. If we're talking about the ceiling, you want to round up. If you want to talk about the floor, round down. Now, it's a little tricky when we talk about negatives. So, for example, negative 2.99 Many students will say this is negative 3. Well, that turns out to be the floor function. If we want to round negative 2.99 up, what's the number, the next whole number that is greater than negative 2.99? Well, that's going to be negative 2. Okay, now we can do some more operations using uh, the floor and the ceiling functions. So let's take a look at the floor of one half plus the ceiling of one half like this. So think of this as kind of like order of operations. Well first what you're going to do is the ceiling of one half. So ceiling means you want to round it up. So rounding up one half would just be to one. So take this step at a time. One half plus one now we know that this is going to be uh, 1.5 so if you round down 1.5 that rounds down to 1 and that's our answer. Now let's introduce more functions here so we have the ceiling of the floor of 1 half plus the ceiling of 1 half plus 1 half Now we know that the floor of 1 half is 0 because run it down, that's 0. If you run 1 half up, that's going to be 1. And so this is just going to be the ceiling of 1.5, which means run it up, which is 2. Okay. Now let's look at the ceiling of 3 fourths. 3 fourths is 0 0.75. If you run it up, that's just 1. Now let's run, let's find the floor of 7 eighths. That's going to be between 0 and 1. Run it down, you get 0. The ceiling of negative 3 fourths, well, you want to find the number, the next whole number that is greater than negative 3 fourths. We know that this is between negative 1 and 0, so you're just going to pick the bigger number. Now if we take a look at the floor of negative 7 eighths, 
We know this is between negative 1 and 0, but pick the smaller number because this is the floor. That's negative 1. Okay, what happens if you have the, the ceiling of 3? Well, whether you take the ceiling or the floor function of a whole number, it's just going to be itself. So similarly, if I looked at the floor of negative 1, because it's a whole number, it's just going to be negative 1 itself. Now let's look at the floor of 1 half plus the ceiling of 3 halves. So treat this as order of operations. First do the ceiling of 3 halves. Well, this is between 1 and 2 because it's 1.5. Pick the bigger number is 2. Now this is going to be 2 and a half and this is between 2 and 3, which is 2. Okay, now let's introduce some multiplication in our last example. We have the floor of 1 half times the floor of 5 halves. So first, order of operations, start with this, treat it like a parenthesis. This is going to be 2.5, which is between 2 and 3. Pick the lower number, since it's the floor, that's going to be 2. Now 1 half times 2 is 1, and because this is a whole number, our answer is 1.